Boy oh boy, boy oh oh boy oh, I wonder what video game we will play today. I hope it's Mega Man. What we're in for today, Master Drive! Because your game is Metroid. Phew! sounds. Yeah, I don't know why I did that with my mouth. Metroid's awesome! That's awesome, great, I love it! It's a classic NES game, one of the like major franchises of Nintendo. You're right. One of, the, one of the big bench presses. I'm hoping that I get something just as good. I'm thinking like... Uh, I'm no thinking noise. like Lincoln! Play your game in Metroid 2 for the male game child. Okay. That, that was should have probably been our first guess. Well, I, I was listening. What was it? Metroid 2. Oh, game okay. Boy. oh, I've never played that one. I've never played... Uh, very many uh, Game Boy games, so you know what? Before any further ad adieu, let's go to the gameplay. All right, I feel so friendly and happy. I'm burn my face. See, these aren't your father's roids. They're met roids. You know, I never met a roid I didn't like. All right, oh, we're gonna get some story. Shoot, shoot, boom, boom. Emergency order, defeat the Metroids of the planet Zibeth and destroy the mother brain of the mechanical life vein, Galaxy Federal Police M510. Is that a poem? I think did, that's did, a, did, 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 did they hire bounty hunters by sending out tone poems? <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. That was not a tone poem, though. Okay. Oh boy, Kid Icarus! Alright! Oh boy, Kid Icarus! Go, 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 Kid Icarus! Go, go, Kid Icarus! Go, go! Okay, I have to admit something about this game. Yeah? I have, uh... Okay, don't shoot it. I've beaten the game. Yeah? I have beaten this game. I have never beaten it without cheat codes. There's... And I'll tell you why. I... Uh, the, for some reason, my copy of the game, the passwords didn't work. Yeah, I remember that. You put in the passwords, <sighs> and so you so you could never like the game was so long at the time, and the chances of you like surviving on one life were so low. I just couldn't do it because the the passwords wouldn't work for me. And I couldn't tell if it was like something I wasn't getting. Yeah. I never got any of the like the passwords to work except for like the ones from the Nintendo Power. Those ones all worked. The uh, the you know the the, uh, the Justin Bailey and the um, my life in in poodle skirts and the and the uh, Medu uh, Icarus fights Medusa angels you yeah. know, those passwords all worked but I couldn't get any of the other and I ah! I didn't know if I was just typing things in wrong using the keyboard no because I never had any luck with that either the classic Nintendo keyboard so folks if you played Metroid. Uh, write us in, in the comments, let us know if you couldn't put uh, your passwords in either. Because it might have just been all copy, because I haven't really heard anyone talk about that. Oh, God. And if you have a password for, say, your banking account or something like that, and an account number, leave yeah. it in the comments below. We'll take a look and see if that password works as well. If you're a so gangster, I don't remember it. Um, and you've got a secret hideout, uh, leave us the password for the hideout, yeah. as well as the location of the hideout and the address. And, and maybe a couple of thousands and just like, you know, loose loose guns and ammunition. What I find interesting is the two talk about True Detectives like it's like I don't know, I heard someone talk about how well researched it was and stuff like that. Yeah. And like how like how much it tried to like avoid the cliches. Yeah. But it still did that thing where they make a cop do some coke to prove that he's not a cop. Yeah. Which um most coke dealers don't do coke. Like that's not a thing that happens because well no some coke dealers do coke I knew a few that did coke well yeah but not the big major distributor ones because here's the thing when you when you're trying to round up employees don't hire coke heads don't hire coke heads they know that <laughs> hey guys hope you're enjoying our gameplay of Metroid while we talk about Australians uh what we're talking about has nothing to do with Metroid or video games. Also, Brendan's awful at this game. I am really bad. This, <laughs> this is like <laughs> this is painful just to sit beside. <laughs> like I'm astonished by how bad I'm doing. Like I've never been very good at Metroid. To be honest, I'd be. I don't even know where you think you're going. Well, I went that way, and I was like, I don't want to go down because I know there's a missile place up here that I haven't been to yet. So I'm going back to do that. What do you, What do you think is going to happen during this 10 minute gameplay? I'm gonna get everything. Well, so I'm probably gonna die one more time. I, well, I, I just you're gonna you're gonna definitely take on Mother Brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know there's, the there's absolutely no way that in this 10 minute gameplay sequence you're gonna be able to get to anything Mother Brain. of interest. Anything of interest. It's just not gonna happen. Okay, so uh, you know, uh, all right. I made some progress. I made some progress. Oh deal. Oh deal. 
Oh dear. Okay, you did pretty well, but uh, I'm gonna take over. And you know, we know why? Because you're an asshole? Because I'm an asshole, that's basically why. What did we say, Dennis Miller? <clears throat> Is that a reference anybody cares about anymore? Probably nobody cares about that. Look, see, like, Ow, I got door. damage going through a door. Like, see, that's the great thing about this game, is the fact that all the, despite all the difficulty and stuff like that, it remains completely and utterly fail. Yeah, that's right. Just stand on them. Don't worry. Got them. The, um, I really hate the Metroids. You know, um, the other thing about this game is we had to get a little bit of health before we got to this part, and I have to say that getting health in this game is so tedious. Yeah. Because, like... Oh, hey, you can shoot the cause, lasers. Because of how easy it is to get damage. Yeah. You get... Like, just, and it's just so slow. There should be, like, that's the great thing about Super Metroid, is they introduce the, the, the little healing pawns that you find. We just stand in them and you're like, okay, good to go. Yeah. I love the freeze ray against the Metroids, though, because the Metroids are so hard to actually fight. Yeah. I'm just like, I'd rather not fight them at all. Well, there's, like, the wave beam and stuff like that, but honestly, the, the freeze ray is the best weapon in this or any of the Metroid games, really. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's gonna get me. He gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, he got me. He got me. Oh, and I'm losing health now. Like that's. There you go. Oh, he left. No, no, he didn't go. He's always kill Metroids. I, I, I. Uh, ah! Well, that was that was close. Yeah. The free <laughs> is. Ah! That was like a horror movie. <laughs> this this game is a horror movie. Boy, oh, it is. It's inspired by aliens. So. Yeah. It it is. You know, it's distinct. More alien than anything. It's distinctive from Alien. Um. Though, like, it's it's really got a great visual style. Mm -hmm. The language in the, of this game and the the atmosphere really makes up for a lot of stuff that's not that great about it. Yeah. Well, and the sort of quiet, not quite music, just the. Dum, oh, I, it's great. I, I love the the music from this game. No, I know but it's amazing. But you're right. It's not. It's in many ways. It's, it's not, not really music. tunes. Like, it, like you can sing the da na 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 thing, yeah. but you can't really sing the bling, bling, Shit. bling. Okay, now I need to switch weapons. Uh, oh, you just fall in the lava. Fall in the lava. Fall in the lava. And this also and the, fall in the lava. This also this game. And fall in the lava. And fall in the uh, lava. Yeah, what's the password for this area? Fall in the lava. Is you, do you use your um that attack now? Oh, just like keep spamming it. This one. No, the, uh, the shooty, freezy thing, just so you don't get hit by any lasers in front of you. Oh, I see. Well, then I've got to jump over these very awkward platforms. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that anyway. <sighs> okay, I'm fighting Mother Metroid again. No, you're fighting Metroid Brain. Think about this boss, though. It's such a strange idea for a boss. Yeah. And also, like... Oh, wait, wait. That was totally unnecessary. I thought one of those dots was about to appear, and I didn't want to risk it hitting me. And then, of course, I stopped for a second. Hard bendies, Blake. <laughs> racist. That's, that's right. I'm, I, I, isn't it a little bit racist that I'm, I'm fighting all these bindies? <laughs> it's definitely an anti-Hindu game. Yeah. Shit. Sorry, I'll talk more, but like you know, this has been this like is three so hours. This is so stressful. Whoa. Did you jump backwards like that? How did you... It was unintentional. <laughs> yeah, you could just jump. Yeah! yeah! Take that, Cheerios! Oh, ah. Uh. Oh, wait. Now oh, can I still... Time bomb set. Get out fast. Well, fast is my middle name. <laughs> Brendan Fast. Spear. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I got lots of time. I got 932 seconds. Well, what? you got 930 seconds! <laughs> Luckily, I've got the... Alright, okay. uh, we're going up. And up. And up, and up. I think my son's home. Hi, Casper. Uh, come over. I'm right. I've only got 700 seconds left, Casper, so if you have anything to say... But this is The worst part of this is that if you miss one of these platforms... You're like all the way down. Yeah. Well, you kind of get caught if you... Holy Moses! Good oh, golly careful, and Mary and all the other people. Hi, Casper. Hi. Hooray! Alright, folks. Uh, it's about we revived space, and clearly we did it without passwords, because look, this is the ending we got. Yeah, it's the best ending. The, uh, so we'll see you next in, what's oh. it? In, uh, in... Metroid 2. Metroid well, 2, it's the not adventures a of... twist ending that you're a lady. It's... In the film... Some more?
<laughs> yeah, we will. In the next game. <laughs> New Matsuoko? What is that? The title or the person's name? Damn. Whoa! You know, I, I haven't played this one. Oh, look at that. I haven't played this one. This is actually quite pretty. It's a bit slow, uh, as you'd expect. So this is really, like, so this is pre, um, uh, Super Metroid. Yeah, this is the Metroid 2. It's, it's the second one. Well, I realize that, but Super Metroid doesn't say Metroid 3 on it, so no. I don't think it would be, would be an idiot if you didn't realize that. So that means I got bombs. Oh no, I can shoot downwards. That's Ooh, cool. nice. I like that down shooting. Got the down Dude, Look, I can turn into a ball cast, but what do you think about me turning into a ball? <laughs> That makes sense? No. <laughs> now, how could somebody fit inside a ball? I don't know. Well, that's, that's, I like how your joke to your kid, your four year old kid, is basically level king of a lot of yeah, it's all... things. Like, you can't fit in a ball. Like, 10 things about Metroid that ruin it forever. It's ten, 10 things about Metroid that still bother me to this day. One, how would you fit inside the ball? Wouldn't it hurt your shoulders? Yeah. How, wouldn't you need a neck brace afterwards? That's this what is, a magic power suit is. This is power clearly suit is impossible. Giant, that's why the neck thing is so weird. This is a giant neck brace. You can deal with all, like, the couple times she has no neck. Yeah, actually, she's Mysterio from, uh, from spider man Oh, there you go. That makes sense. Is that canon? Uh, what, does, does Mysterio have a cannon? Yeah. He probably does in one of the terrible Spider-Man comics that exist throughout the Spider-Man's history. Sorry. There are good Spider-Man comics and bad Spider-Man comics, they're not all bad, I'm The not... good ones are these ones. The bad ones are everything else that wasn't explicitly mentioned in that list. Oh, God. I'm just gonna cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the joke would be about the list of, like... I understand what the, you're thinking the joke would be. Just like, I ain't doing it. Just like a list of like, you know, like Captain, like two Captain America titles and like, uh... What? And like what Batman are Begins. What you doing, Ethan? I don't know. Is this pretty crazy? Yeah. I'm, fi I'm fighting pickle monsters and frogs. Oh, there's a frog. No, uh, is that doing... This music's actually pretty nifty. I, I, I do like it. Actually, there's a lot of Game Boy games, because I didn't have a Game Boy as a kid. Yeah. There's a lot of Game Boy games that have great music, great graphics, great gameplay that I just never got into. Yeah. And unfortunately, black and white gameplay is not... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, a, a Metroid. Oh, 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 what, what? Oh, it's a space pirate stealing a Metroid. Or being merged with a Metroid? What's happening? Ah, ah. Yay, nicely done. Metroid yeah. shell. There seems to be a lot of game here. This is just the opening? Yeah. Like, I'm having- Oh, 38, no, I think you actually are supposed to be- Oh dear. Because there was 39 before, I think there's 38 Metroids in this area. Yeah, now how do I get to this? This all... I think. The other one? Without we could do messes like that. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, get I, it. Li I like that. I dig that. They made some really simple, like, they didn't even bother with, trend, with kind of transparencies on that, a lot of this stuff, because I guess they can. Yeah. But it, it kind of works. I don't know, it works. There's just different levels of stuff going on. Well, because you're supposed to be exploring every nook and cranny anyway, so. Yeah, so why not, right? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, pickle monsters. I, I honestly, when the, the, the ones from uh, the original Metroid, I always thought of as like just flying pickles. Yeah. I'm sure they have a name like a Zebus or a. Yeah, the Zebus, a Zebus is actually a thing. Never mind. <laughs> Zebes? Oh. <laughs> yeah, as if, right, Casper? Yeah. <laughs> Who made this game, Casper? Who do you think made this game? Blah, uh, blah, blah, blah. You're right. Japanese. <laughs> Nice, nice pronunciation. Can you say Yaki Honda? Yaki Honda. <laughs> but, 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 but. Can yeah. you say a Miyamoto? A Mia blah blah. That's not close at all. That's the one part of his name we usually only say. Yeah. A Motsi. Motsi, Motsi, Motsi crew. Motsi poops. That's what you should call Nintendo, the Motsi crew. Well, this is back the way I came. Yeah. I thought it was two, the new way I hadn't like, came. Okay, that's the way you haven't been there. Alright, what's this? Oh, what's that? What? I don't know. This is the place to... Oh, save. Oh, this is a save. This is a save. That. The Game Boy bringing in the uh, high technology techno powers. Yeah. Huh? 
It's always a good sign too when somebody asks you to save just before doing that. Yeah. Ah! The getting hit noise is very upsetting. Yeah, and the effect it has. It's... Yeah, it's the exact opposite of Metroid, where it's just like you're standing there getting damage. Yeah, and not even Boy. losing. Yeah. Boy. Boing. She's really bouncy, isn't she? So do you lose yeah. everything in this in this game? Because this really seems like you could play the whole game like this. And yeah. not just get different power-ups you hadn't had before. I don't even know. I don't know enough about like, this game. Like, this could be the first sequel I've played, where basically it is legitimately a continuation of the previous game. Yeah. When they don't just come up with, like, terrible reasons to, uh... Like, just sack all your power with no reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, for any reason, so you can do the same thing again. That's, that's That'd what... be a cool thing in, like, a Mega Man game, where if you start the game with all the power-ups in, like, Mega Man... Like, in Mega Man 3, you started off with Mega Man 2. Yeah, yeah. And then got more, and then by, like, Mega Man 7, you're, like, this incredible, ridiculous arsenal of nonsense. It's like, if, if, if anyone here has played the Quest for Glory games, that yeah. was exactly what they did. You continue down... Oh, yeah, um... Blah, 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 blah. This parody of us is it's pretty accurate. It is, it is almost, it is almost painfully accurate. That was me. Can you see, can I say how amazing these pancake monsters are? Casper would say blah, 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 and then say semiotics. Blah, 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 semiotics. Yeah, that's, that's Brendan. basically it. <laughs> No, but the Quest for Glory games were great because you could continue on your save file through all the whole series. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that in more games where, like, I'd I'd like to, I'm I don't sure think somebody I'd... has done a Let's Play series no. where they have played through the entire series with one character. Blah, 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 okay, blah. Well, well, that's enough shouting, okay, Casper? Blah, 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 blah. Casper, that's enough shouting, please. <laughs> Yeah, I think this might be whole, the whole game. There's no way this is just like an opening. Thing. No, I bet, because you've already killed one Metroid. Because it's had 39 Metroids in the bottom, so I think the whole game is you're hunting down the last of the Metroids. I think that's what it is. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm down with that. And then the last one's a baby. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. It's a cute little baby. And then it thinks it's, it's your mother, and then, then, then Ripley. Ripley. Then Ripley, believe it or not. Steals it back to clone it or whatever. Oh god, what is that? It's a mosquito. There's already mosquitoes, they're called Metroids. It's 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 a terrible mosquito. It's doing a lot of damage to you. Is it? Oh my good howdy duty is it ever. See I can see all the areas that you can like you can't reach yet. Yeah. It's almost like it's a Metroidvania. Alright. Okay. Hey, what's that? Save point. This was before Vania did that, though. This is back when it was just a Metroid. Well, this is after Metroid, Metroid Elda, Two. Me I mean, Metroid Castlevania Two. So mm -hmm. technically, Legend of Metroid. Yeah. from the <laughs> Metroid Two: The Adventures of Link. Yeah. The you you just fell from the sky. Yeah. We did. You know what else fell from the sky? Mana. You know what else fell from the sky? Uh, David Bowie and the Man Who Fell to Earth. You know what else fell to Scott and Scott? Oh, look! Yay! Bomb. Well, this has been... This is really interesting, this game. I must say, I don't know how much more gameplay we're going to be able to get in, but having not tried it, I kind of want to play more. Yeah. Uh, it's... See? I don't know what that was. I guess it was an energy tank. Uh, I think it was, uh, Misalos. Oh, yeah. Can I just say that there are no missiles in this game, but there seems to be, like, Star Trek insignias everywhere? Yeah, well, that's the thing. You're just shooting allegiances, allegiances at people. You're, 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 Yay! Yay! Yeah! you're shooting comm systems, and then maybe, like, the enemies are being... Uh, beamed up. Beamed up. Into empty space. Into empty space. Now that is a good way to get rid of your Metroids. There you go. So with that, we'll be coming back with the verdict. But I want to play some more. Play on your own time, Blake. What book, you? What are you talking about? We're in my house, sitting around with my child. All right. So that was uh, that was fun. Uh, we've just been ze uh, Zeldaing. We've just been Metroiding around, killing yeah. some of the Metroids. We've been tasked with taking those two on and seeing which of those two games is the stronger game. Yes. Oh shit. Uh, we've got Ahwalda uh, from the uh, the game train. Is Hell that right? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, that's yes. right. So, and he's got a great channel, um, you should check it out. Um, uh, right now, he's our judge now, uh, he doesn't have a webcam, so we can hear him by audio, but I, I think we can see some, 
some visuals out there. Yes. Uh, I think that that seems suitably appropriate. We've each got about a minute. We've got two minutes total to give our arguments. And then the game train's going to lay down which one of us is the winner and which one of us is the loser. It's him. Metroid is amazing. It's the first of its kind of game. There's other games like Adventure that came before it, but it's the first one that really nails the sort of platform adventuring kind of thing that other Castlevania, little Castlevania games and other Metroid games sort of built off of. Um, the huge world is really amazing. It's You're limited only in the abilities you have to explore, which is the whole point of the Metroid game. Um, it has a huge variety of power-ups, so when you get to the end of the game, depending what you found and what you've done, the gameplay is totally different. There's like the ice beams and there's all the different beams you can have, and it totally changes how the end feels compared to the later ones, but it really pushed everything it could out of the hardware. Um, most of it is done to get the atmosphere as beautiful and as tense as it can, it has that real sense of isolation of being lost on an alien planet that you really don't get out of, I feel, out of the Game Boy 1 or even out of most other sort of Metroidvania type games. That's, you know, that's a good point, but I want to say that, that Metroid 2, when you take into consideration its limitations, it's actually in many ways a, a more exciting game to talk about. I mean, Metroid blasted the door open, okay? But Metroid 2 really set the stage for Super Metroid, and all the Metroidvania games was the first one to really um, cement a lot of the stuff that we love about the Metroid series, to create the relationship and, uh, with the Metroids. Um, it's a bit more interesting in that way. And, and it's limited by the fact that it's on a Game Boy. You can't begrudge it that. So you're not going to say, okay, it's not as big as the, as the other one, it doesn't have some of the same things, and it can't really do that. But I think it really controlled what was possible on the on the Game Boy. It was an amazing game. and. It all, it's, a, it's a real forgotten story with great atmosphere, wonderful music, and I think the fact that it's forgotten uh, makes it, to me, more exciting, even more so than Metroid. It set the groundwork for the Metroidvania universe, and uh, within its limitations, it still managed to create that whole atmosphere and expand the series. Yeah, it was limited by the hardware, not the game design. Yeah. Say. So, the, here's our question to you. Which one of us... Mr. Metroid or Mr. Metroid 2 had the stronger argument. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, the last time I've seen any of those two games was, um, what, five years ago at best? Mm -hmm, no, so yeah. I don't remember much about them myself. And that's fine. Uh, it's kind of hard, hard to tell, to actually. Because both, Both games, games, if I'm not mistaken, are not too, too different, different. So, so it's, it's mostly, mostly nitpicking, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. mistaken. Yeah, it, it's more about which one, I guess, had the better atmosphere, which one was more fun to play, even though they're very similar. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, similarity, similarity doesn't, doesn't help, help in making the decision, decision but, but I think I'll, I'll have, have to go, go with, with the original, original here. Yay! Uh, all right. All I right. said that very high pitch. That, right? was, yeah. that was exceedingly girly. Oh, oh, oh boy! I'm so glad that I won. Yay! Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, like I, I, I agree. Um, I do think that the Game Boy One is really good, but it is since they're so similar, it is the limitations of the Game Boy really show. Yeah. I'm uh, happy now. Thanks a lot to our um, to our special guest judge. Um, uh, out there, in uh, if you're watching this video. Do you think we made the right arguments? Is there an argument you think we might have missed? Or do you think that the game train got totally the wrong verdict? Because really, I win? Yeah. Please, please let us know that particular piece of information. Forget anything else. Just tell me that I win. Yeah. I, I need it for my self-esteem. And are there any other games you'd like to see us pit against each other? Uh, we don't choose that, but if you send us information, the giant computer might listen. Yeah. And, and please check out the Game Train's channel. Yes. It's got some amazing stuff. Um, uh, and really, it's a fun channel. So um, until next week, see you later. That's my new catchphrase. Oh, uh, as a side note, I would like to add, if you think the game train is full of shit, also let us know. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs>
Um, Why, hello! I'm Castlevania! God! <laughs> well, this isn't exactly what I was wishing for. 